I had never really seen everything all in one place at one time. So to see it from start to today, it's, um, I guess I'd compartmentalized a lot. So I didn't really, you don't face the magnitude of it when you're just sort of in a bubble and you have that experience, you go to the next experience. And it was my way of self-protection. Um, but then when you see it all at once, I think, how did that little girl survive that? How did she manage to keep her sense of humor and not get jaded and keep an open heart and all those things. You know, you just think, oh, I'm very lucky that I, that I can, I'm relatively unscathed. <laughs> I spent my life owing people things and doing whatever they wanted. And finally, I asked myself, who will I be if, if I don't allow that anymore? I think, you know, the bigger topic of the story is really, really important. And that's the, the bigger context, and I'm very happy that that's the way that Lana, the director, made the film. I was very happy that it became more than just one actress's story, you know. I just felt that I was in good hands to tell the story, and <clears throat> it's taken me this long to process it, so I was never ready prior. Um, and. It was, I had to process it in my own way and on my own terms. And I think that that's a, we talked about this, it's a very important piece, is everybody processes their own trauma, their own experiences in different timelines, but it's a timeline that's for them. And it just felt like the right time now. They say that on the set you felt very uncomfortable during all this. Is that true? Well, I mean, I knew it was going to be in good, done in good taste, mm -hmm. so... I mean, you know, if you, like, think about the whole thing, it might be a little uncomfortable, but I knew that it was going to be in good taste and it wasn't any porno movie, and so... Mm -hmm. I didn't feel so bad about it. I think the reason why I felt compelled, I talked to my daughters about it, is to... to help... to be an advocate for women to be able to speak their truth and process it, process whatever it is the way they need to. And that there is no one size fits all for, for any of these. And I felt important, I felt it important that this version, I had, a, I'm having a piece in that. I felt like I would be being dishonest if I had left it out. It's so funny when you see your offspring <laughs> turn into human, real human beings and, you're, and, in, and enter a discourse with them. And I was just, surprised how sort of well versed and articulate they express their their thoughts and how clear there's no ambiguity and they they had this sort of mixture of protectiveness for their mother and then also anger towards a world that could do could exploit women young women i was just so interested to hear their thoughts about it. Then they told me, they educated me too on the cast of Euphoria or others. He said that, that she, you know, she was like, mom, those are older people playing 17 year olds. <laughs> you were like 11 playing, <laughs> you know. So I'm, I'm proud that they, they took a stance. I found myself sort of almost defending myself and that was what I thought was interesting because you know I, I started thinking things like oh it was a different time and and there was this I was sticking up for my mom to my girls but you know when then my daughter turned it around on me and said well would, you know would you let me do it and I thought that was just such a telling thing so it 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 made me face the the unfairness of it more honestly than I think I could ever afford to emotionally at the time. And I was so shut off that I didn't even really know to be uncomfortable. I didn't, you know, I didn't have, I didn't have that like, oh, something's not right. And this is, this feels creepy. It just, I would forget about it the minute a scene would be over or we'd have to, you know. I'd make a funny face, or I always just tried to affirm that it was not real life. 
And I think that protected me, but it also helped me stay the queen of denial. <laughs> but I also am so proud when I look at it, at my body of work, and the variety of the work that I've done, and how long my career has been, longevity, and, and I don't know if I ever really was comfortable admitting that I have talent. And to look at it all and look at, look at actually what I have done and to know that I'm so excited to do more is such a gift, you know, to, to really, to still love, you know, love to hate the industry, but, but still love what I do and still get a chance to do it. And to me, that is a testament to talent and perseverance and hard, hard, hard work and not giving up and continuing to grow. I hope that people will look at my body of work and say, oh, God, I didn't know you did that, or oh, wow, that was, you know, impressive or whatever. And that's probably just my ego or it's just my actressness and, you know, but, but it's true because I am proud.